units and they're all building here at Wythe Academy. Students who are dropped off in the front of the building and the car line always enter our building through either of these front doors here at the school. Come on in, boys and girls, and let's take a brief tour of the building. Boys and girls, as you come in in the morning, the front office is here to your right. Our office folks are here to help you if you need to call home or if you need to check on something or return something to the front office from your parents. The help room is here, boys and girls, on your left. We have a health room, parents that are staffed with a full-time RN to help your child if your child is ever sick. Parents and students, I'd like to introduce you to our school nurse, Nurse Lisa Ella, RN, full-time at one. Hi. I'm Lisa Eller. I'm the new nurse here at Blythe Academy. Just wanted to take a minute to share with you guys that I'm a mother here of two young boys in the district, so I share your concerns for your children's health this year. I'll be your point of contact for vaccines, allergies, um, and administering medications. I look forward to working with you. As we move on into the atrium, just a bit further, our attendance officer, attendance clerk, is located here. If you have questions, parents, about attendance guidelines or student absences, you will want to call the attendance clerk, Mrs. Tanya Shiva. Her number is listed on our school website. Boys and girls, our wonderful media center is located here. You will see that as you walk through our atrium every day. Mrs. Ferguson is our media specialist. Ms. Hinger is her clerk. They do a wonderful job of serving children in our media center. And there are so many wonderful books there and so many neat things to do. You will love the Wyatt Media Center. Welcome to Wyatt Academy's library. I'm Mrs. Ferguson. I'm the librarian here at this beautiful library. We have over 17,000 titles and we're one of the largest elementary libraries in Greenville County School System. So there are plenty of books for you to find just the ones that you love. Students come to the library to choose books, to learn library skills, to learn how to use some digital tools so they can take what they learn from reading and create and then share it with others. So we can't wait for you to be able to get back in here and get your hands on these books. We'll also be making sure you have access to online books if you're not able to get in here. So there are plenty of opportunities for you to read. It's one of the most important things you can do. Welcome to Blythe Academy. My name is Matthew Burns, and on behalf of our parents, we are very excited to get to meet you and to work with you this year. Here at Blythe, we are thrilled to have two great parent organizations to support the work of the school. As all Greenville County Schools do, we have a PTA. I'm the incoming PTA president, and we would love to have you be involved in our work this year. We want to ensure a successful, supportive year for all Blythe students. We also have a School Improvement Council, and greetings from Millie Thomason, who will be the chair of the SIC this year. The SIC works to support the school as well, providing ideas of ways that we can better serve our student population. For both groups, we want to see you get connected with the school. You'll see information in first aid packets and other resources about how to connect with us. And as always, if you ever have a question, please reach out and we would love to get to talk with you. Thanks so much and we hope you have a great year. Hello again. As a parent, from time to time, you may have reasons that you want to come in the school office. We're here at the front office of the school this entrance is where you will always come if you need to enter the school. When you come to the office, ring the doorbell. Good morning, Dr. Academy. How can I help you? Good morning. This is Matthew Burns. May I come in, please? Good morning, Mr. Burns. Sure. Good morning. Glad to see you guys. Thank you for coming into Blight. This is our front office, and myself or my co-partner, Yvette, who is not in with me at the moment, will be able to assist you in anything that you need. We can help you get students, we can get information for you, get you in contact with those you need to be in contact with. All you need to do is be in touch with us and we can get you in the direction you need to go. 
Parents and students, let's begin our tour of the building by introducing some key staff members, beginning with our school counselor, Mrs. Claire Barnett. Welcome, New Blythe families. We're so happy to have you here at our school. I am Mrs. Barnett. I'm the school counselor, and I want to tell you a little bit about what I do here. Blythe is very near and dear to my heart. In fact, this is my 26th year. As a school counselor, I do many different jobs. I work with students, teachers, and families to make sure that we can be the best we can at school and feel happy and confident. The way that boys and girls know me best is through classroom guidance lessons. I will go into classrooms and teach lessons on social emotional development. That's understanding our feelings, how we can best handle feelings when we have a hard time, get along well with others. And I also teach career lessons as well as leader, teach leadership skills. So that's one big part of my job. But in addition, I work with students individually. Sometimes a student may have a hard time with getting along with a friend or understanding when they feel anxious or maybe changes at home. So you can meet with a counselor and I just help boys and girls work through some of the things that are maybe getting in the way of their learning. So I'm a really um, good listener and I like to talk to boys and girls if they need me. I also work with parents. I help them understand um, resources that might be available if they need some extra support. I assist parents with having parent workshops and I have a resource library that parents can check out um, materials if they need to. I also work with students individually, I mean, I'm sorry, in small groups. So sometimes we work with a group of boys and girls uh, for a period of time. I am not the only counselor here at Blythe. We have a part-time school counselor, Mrs. Alice Atkinson. So you will get to know her as well. In fact, check out our Blythe website, our school counselor website, because you can learn more about us and our services. We're so excited to meet you soon. I'd like to now introduce our magnet program coordinator, Mrs. Priscilla Hoffman. Hi, um, like she said, I'm Priscilla Hoffman and I am here to assist parents with uh, magnet applications. Um, each year we do uh, several rounds of magnet applications which begin November 1st and our uh, first round ends in December and we let parents know if the children have been accepted by the mid-December. Um, and then also uh, we do tours and um, emails answering parents about questions they have, um, just anything that you may have a question about. Uh, probably the best way to contact me is through email. It's phoffman, H-O-F-F-M-A-N, at greenville.k12.sc.us. Parents and boys and girls, another very important person here at Blythe Academy is our instructional coach, Ms. Victoria Comey. Hi guys, I'm Miss Comey and I am so excited to be your instructional coach. If you have any questions about instruction or anything standards based or coaching in the classroom, I'm the person to go to. It's great to see you. Parents and students, I want to share a little bit about our building with you. As I said earlier, we do have two stories to our building, but it's a very logical layout. We have color-coded hallways. Our blue hallway is for our kindergarten, 4K, and 5K classrooms. Our red hallway is for some of our related arts classes and our first grade classrooms. Upstairs, we have yellow hallway for grades two and three, and green hallway for grades four and five. And our PTA president, Mr. Burns, and I are going to take you on a quick tour. Mr. Burns, anything you'd like to add? I would just say I, my children have been here since kindergarten, starting down this hallway. And I love that they had such a safe and supportive environment and that they were there just as the kindergartners on their own section. And that made it a great start to the year, Dr. Griffin. Thank you. We appreciate that. Let's go, boys and girls. Parents and boys and girls, this is a sample kindergarten room here on our kindergarten hallway at Blythe Academy. As you can see, it is well decorated, it is spacious, it's not ready for school, however. There are many more um, furniture and decoration type items that will be in place by the time we begin school in August. But I did want you to get a feel for exactly what this room looks like and how spacious it is for our children.
parents and students, we're now on the red hallway and in a first grade classroom. This classroom is very representative of the other classrooms here on the first grade hallway, but also classrooms at grades two and three. Teachers use a variety of seating options, including individual student desk and tables as well as general grouping areas in front of the Promethean Board, et cetera. Of course, this year, those kinds of practices are subject to any regulations that we have regarding COVID-19, but this is indicative of what a classroom looks like during a normal school year. We are now upstairs on the yellow hallway where we find our classrooms for grades two and three. I am currently on the second grade hallway, which houses not only all of our second grade students, but also our ESOL teacher and our speech therapist. Moving this way, we are entering now onto the third grade hallway. All of our third grade classrooms are here, in addition to an RTI teacher who serves reading intervention students in grades three. Parents and boys and girls, we are still on the green hallway and we are now in a fourth grade classroom where we have begun to experiment with our arrangements of student desks for proper social distancing. This is an example of what classrooms might look like this school year during COVID-19 if individual student desks are used in that classroom. Parents and boys and girls, we are now on the fifth grade hallway at the end of the green hall. Uh, this is where all of our fifth grade classrooms are housed. Mr. Burns is here with me. Fifth grade is a really special year here at Blythe Academy. Would you agree, Mr. Burns? I agree, Dr. Griffin. My students, my children loved the fifth grade experience here at Blythe. Not only did they get to celebrate the end of their journey here at Blythe Academy, but they learned together and were well prepared for middle school wherever they went on to. And I was pleased to see that they had the immersion experience, which allowed them to have that great foundation for middle school. Wonderful. We appreciate those words so much. We do really enjoy our fifth grade year with our, all of our fifth grade students. We enjoy all the special things that we do to celebrate them as individuals and as a class as a whole. Um, our leadership positions are open for our fifth grade students, and I know that your boys yes. and girls participated in that. We have um, many opportunities for our children to develop leadership skills here at Blythe Academy, but lots of celebrations for our fifth grade students as they complete their time at Blythe Academy and do move on to the middle school. Much to look forward to, boys and girls. Parents and boys and girls, I want to introduce to you two very important people on our Blythe staff. The first is our administrative assistant, Mr. Corey Ellenbach. Welcome, Mr. Ellenbach. Well, well, thank you very much. Hello, boys and girls. I am so looking forward to seeing you this school year. I hope you've had a great summer. We are looking forward to having you back in the building. Parents and boys and girls, I would like to introduce to you another very key and important staff member here at Blythe Academy. This is Mrs. Cecilia Cameron. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, parents and families of Blythe Academy. We are super glad that we're going to have another school year together. Mr. Ellenbach and I are here to help you. We will help you with anything you need us to help you with. And parents, we're happy to help you as well. Welcome again to Blythe Academy. It is a great place. I want to take you into our art room. Mr. Burns is going to join me there. We're very proud of our related art programs here at Blythe Academy, and I think Mr. Burns would like to share with you about his children's experiences in our related arts classes. Thank you, Dr. Griffin. And, and as you can see, you see the great work that occurs here in our art room with Ms. Wolf, who is one of our related arts teachers. This has really enhanced the curriculum for my students. They love having the opportunity to participate in the related arts whether it is art, music, or in any of the other areas that adds to the diversity of the experience here at Blythe. Parents and boys and girls, this is our gym where you will have your PE classes, hopefully, this year. Mrs. Street and Mr. Clark are our PE teachers here at Blythe Academy, and they do a fabulous job with PE instruction for all of our students. I'm now outside on the playground here at Blythe Academy. We have two separate playgrounds. The first is for our younger children, our four and five year kindergarten students here. Our second bigger playground is for our other students. 
Right now, of course, our playgrounds will be closed as far as use of the equipment due to COVID-19, but students will still have access to the fields and our walking track. Our playground is a joint ownership project between the Greenville County School System and the Greenville City, the City of Greenville. That's a great help to our school because the city does help to maintain our playgrounds. We have a new play structure coming in the very near future and we look forward to, to our COVID restrictions being lifted so that our students can once again join, enjoy all of the amenities of our playground. Parents and boys and girls, I'd like to introduce another very important person here on our staff. This is Mrs. Kim Rothrock. She is the cafeteria manager here at White Academy. Hello, everybody. My name is Kim Rothrock. This is our lunchroom. Just want to let you know that free release applications are online, so if you want to go ahead and start to fill those out, it's easier to go ahead and fill them out online. Um, lunch prices is right now is three eighty for adults. Uh, free breakfast for children. Our menus are posted online every month. We rotate every three weeks. Um, if you have any questions, be feel to call me. My number is three five five four four zero eight. Thank you. Another very important member of our staff here at Blythe Academy is our plant engineer, Mr. Bill Washington. Hi, parents, students, welcome, and we're looking forward to seeing you really, really soon. We hope to just remain safe and we'll keep our eyes and ears open for you. Bye. Parents and boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us for our virtual tour of Blythe Academy. Mr. Burns and I have had great fun leading you on a tour through a building that means so much to both of us. This year our theme at Blythe is Blythe Academy, a family of learners. We truly do believe that our school community is our family. And along that line, we want this year to focus greatly on offering social and emotional support not only to our students, but to our staff and to our families as well. That will be a huge part of our focus this year. It will be the primary focus of all of our professional development for our staff. It will be the first component of our morning sessions with our students, a daily social emotional check-in with each student. And we will be offering some parent workshops through not only our guidance department, but courtesy of a special grant that our PTA won earlier this spring. And Mr. Burns is going to share more about that with you now. Thank you, Dr. Griffin. Yes, through the National PTA and TikTok, we were excited to receive a grant for PTA to help support the work of our faculty and staff here at Blythe Academy, and especially our counseling department. So again, thank you, Dr. Griffin, for allowing me to join you on this tour. Parents and students, we look forward to meeting you soon. Hope you have a great year.